Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today is a special day. We've got a surprise Odessa release out of nowhere. I'm wearing my uh, Odessa shirt uh, for the occasion, and uh, we're gonna hop into this. So um, a new release, uh, we're not actually sure what's happening. There is a microsite that went up on their website that's had like your email and phone number so you could get some stuff. And this morning I woke up to, here's a new single. It said, uh, what is, let me read the text exactly. Uh, it said, from us to you, the last goodbye. So that is kind of painful because it's like, is that, is this the end? Is this the, is this the final goodbye of Odessa? And that's the thing. We don't actually know at this point. We're, we're quite unsure what this means is, is the last goodbye just the name of the single? Cause it is called the last goodbye. Uh, is it the name of the album as well? Is it also the name of the single and the album because this is their final thing? Is that just the name of the song? We're not actually sure what's happening. Is this even an album? Who knows? It could just be a song that they're marketing well. All that to say, I'm excited for this track. I really hope it's not their finale because obviously with, I mean, with Daft Punk leaving at the end of, or the beginning of 2021, don't really want Odessa to be gone too. And all my favorite artists, but uh, who knows? Who knows? So let's just hop into the track. Uh, the Last Goodbye featuring uh, Betty Levette. Levetti, Betty Levetti. <laughs> Uh, but uh, here we go. This is uh, The Last Goodbye by Odessa. It's a six minute banger. I'm excited for that. Let me down easy. For your love for me is gone Let me down easy Since you feel to stay here alone I know it's all over But the last goodbye Love this so far. got this kind of funk from Odessa before.
Okay, the last goodbye by Odessa. Ah, what do I think of that track? Um, I really enjoyed it. I was a huge fan. Uh, it's quite different than the rest of their discography, I would say. Um, kind of, how would I describe it? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with all their other stuff, but uh, I mean, this is the first thing we've got since 2018 uh, from Loyals 2018, I believe. Uh, the rest have been a few remixes here and there. Uh, but yeah, uh, last single was Loyal, a uh, crazy fun trap track. And so Loyal was very different from what, the, than what they normally did. This is still also very different than what they normally do, I want to say, but still retains all the same stylistic um, production elements and atmospheric intention that Odessa tends to have. Um, all wrapped in a longer, more drawn out track. Uh, I think there were a little more inspiration from Bronson, I would say, on this track. Um, just because Bronson has some longer tracks in it, I would say longer than, they're not super long here, but, um, just in terms of what's basic for Odessa, I want to say. Uh, and so I, I really enjoyed the longer track. Um, and I, uh, I think it had enough, uh, what's it called? Enough variation to make it enticing throughout the whole, uh, track. Uh, I like Betty Levitt's, Levitt's, uh, vocals quite a bit that kind of have that classic nostalgic kind of R&B hit to it. Um, that, uh, yeah, that, that worked well for me. The biggest thing I really love when it comes to longer songs is when you have additive drops, when you have like a, a long first drop, a long second drop, and then a third drop that combines the two elements of the, the three that weren't copy pasted. Um, it's very, very similar, but it did what I think it should have. Um, we had the nice long intro, what, maybe a minute, uh, and then did the kind of, uh, the, the subtle emptiness and then brought that into the beat. Uh, which was great. I loved it. Uh, I kind of hooked you right away after the, I guess, minute of um, <laughs> of intro, which I personally really enjoy. Uh, and then the second one, you kind of had that funk, funk that we haven't really heard from Odessa much of really ever. It, it's They haven't really done a, a really heavy bass guitar rift uh, through a, a main drop of a section of a song. Um, so I, I really appreciated that. And then the third drop was a fusion of both, uh, and a little more drawn back, a little more minimalist, minimalistic of the two. There wasn't, uh, the bass wasn't too hard. The, uh, kind of choppiness section of the first drop wasn't as prominent. And so it was like a, uh, like a, like a more reserved fusion of, of the two. And so my only little thing would have maybe been to go a little harder on the last thing, but I, I totally get it. Um, this does feel like, uh, What's the best way to put it? So I've been listening to a lot of house music, um, just with these streams, the the new music for Monday streams, uh, and house is just getting so boring. Um, it's so repetitive. It's just it's just boring. Um, and uh, whether or not you want to call this house or not, uh, I think it does a great job of 
being what the future of the genre should be um, and where it should go in terms of um, still having that length, uh, still having those kind of nice vocals, especially on the better house tracks, uh, but then just having some good production quality in it that is real intentional and is, uh, isn't meant for commercial success, but we'll get it anyways. Uh, and so I was a huge fan of the track. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, but also like, what is going on here? The last goodbye. Odessa, is this, is this you saying your goodbye? Is this your final album run? Um, I guess only time will tell, but, uh, I am super excited for the rest of whatever this is or just more does it stuff in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, who knows? L again, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below on this track, the Last Goodbye by Odessa. But other than that, I have been Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video.